Hello everyone! Uh, it's my birthday and so I'd like to show you how to make my very favorite birthday dessert. Pumpkin pie. So since my birthday is just after Halloween, I've always had a jack-o'-lantern around on my birthday for making some pumpkin pie. And a lot of people don't know that you can eat the pumpkins that we make jack-o'-lanterns from. They just make a jack-o'-lantern and throw it away. But we can make a delicious pumpkin pie with this. So uh, if it's been sitting outside for a little while, um, there may be a little bit of mold on the outside, but we can just cut that off. As long as the pumpkin is still firm, it should be just fine. So the first thing to do is to cut it up and wash it and bake it. So we've preheated the oven uh, on high and here we go. And you can just check and make sure that there's some if there's some bad bits you can just cut that out. The recipe doesn't actually use that much pumpkin, so this this much pumpkin will make pies for a year. But once you've made the puree, you can actually freeze it down and uh, and make pumpkin pie whenever you want. And basically we just want to um, cut the pumpkin into pieces that will lie flat on a baking sheet. Oh, nice big piece. Give it a wash. This pumpkin's actually been was carved about a week ago, but you can see it's still firm and there's lots of meat there, so no problem. And we're going to bake it very thoroughly, so nothing to worry about there. going to be able to fit this whole pumpkin in there so I'm just going to use these great big bits. Uh, the part around the face is probably a little bit softer so we'll just cut that part out. And use these other bits here. Just check it for any soft spots. And of course, just like scissors, when you're cutting, make sure you're cutting away from yourself and onto something like a cutting board. It doesn't matter once the knife slips through. I think that's all I can fit on my on my baking sheet here. So we will pop that in the oven, and it'll take about an hour, an hour and a half, until all of the pumpkin is nice and soft, and then we'll be making a puree. So we'll see you in about an hour. been about an hour and uh, I'm going to check on this pumpkin here, see how we're doing. And the outside seems like it's getting pretty soft there. So next step is to just let that cool down 
and then we'll be scraping out the pumpkin and making it into a puree. Okay, so uh, we've let the pumpkin cool now, and you can see the skin's going to be nice and easy to come off. So I'm going to get my team to uh, scoop out the pumpkin and scoop it into a bowl and make a puree. So here we go. Little six little pumpkins, seven little eight little nine little pumpkins, ten little pumpkins in all. Ten little nine little eight little pumpkins, seven little six little five little pumpkins, four little three little two little pumpkins, one little pumpkin is all. There we go. Oh, wait. <laughs> Alright, okay. so preheat the oven on high. Now that we've got our pumpkin puree, um, and if it's still a little bit chunky, don't worry, because we're going to be blending it again with our other ingredients, what you'll need is an unbaked pie shell, or um, here in Hungary we have this stuff called levelesh testa. It's like pre-made bread, so I just use that for my crust because I'm a little bit lazy. Uh, you will need some cream, um, you'll need some milk, uh, also a little bit of salt, some ground ginger, ground cloves, uh, which is seg, seg for seg in, in Hungarian, um, and allspice, which it took me a long time to find this in Hungary, it's called Segfu Borsch. Um, you'll also need some vanilla, some cinnamon, two eggs, and some brown sugar. Alright, so I'll call in the team to uh, mix this all together for us. So, the, uh, the recipe calls for imperial cups and teaspoons. But um, here in this kitchen uh, with my students we don't have measuring spoons or a measuring cup that measures cups. So we're going to have to uh, be a little bit creative. We're going to eyeball, I think, eyeball the uh, teaspoons with a teaspoon and um, convert the cups to milliliters uh, as we go along. So let's see how these guys do. So first we will need half a cup of milk which is 142 milliliters. Let's go. And next we will need 142 milliliters or one half cup of cream. And next we will need a cup and a half of pumpkin. Cup and a half of pumpkin, which is 426 milliliters.
Okay, and next we need two eggs. And now we will need two thirds of a cup of brown sugar or 189 milliliters of brown sugar. All right, and now we will need one teaspoon of cinnamon. And now, half a teaspoon of salt. Next we need half a teaspoon of ginger. Next, one quarter teaspoon of allspice. And a quarter teaspoon of ground cloves. All right, and then Finally, one teaspoon of vanilla. Mm -hmm. Next, mix everything up with the blender. Five little, six little pumpkins Seven little, eight little, nine little pumpkins Ten little pumpkins in all Ten little, nine little, eight little pumpkins Seven little, six little, five little pumpkins Four little, three little, two little pumpkins One little pumpkin is all So, <laughs> next we just need to pour our mix into the pie shell. Beautiful. And we'll pop it in the oven on high for 20 minutes. So after about 20 minutes, we we'll, uh, turn down the heat and then um, let it cook for another half an hour. You'll know that the pie is done when it starts to smell good and you can put a fork into it and it comes out pretty clean like that. And there we go. That, my friends, is delicious pumpkin pie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to James, happy birthday to you. Thank you. <laughs>